Hi, welcome to Soul Whispers Tarot. I'm back again with another pick a card reading. This is also going to be a charm reading as well. The question is, what does this person feel for you? How do they truly feel about you? What are their true feelings? So we have four sets of cards today. Set of cards number one is the Amber. Set of cards number two is the Lemon Chira Phase. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's the Lime Coloured Stone. Set of cards number three is the Rainbow Glass Pendant. And set of cards number four is the Aura Quartz Point. Okay, so I'll give you a few moments to tune into the energies of the cards to see which ones resonate with you the most. It's perfectly fine for more than one set of cards to resonate. And um, these can apply to how does he feel or how does she feel about you. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So this is set of cards number one, which is the amber. And this is the unicorn playing cards. So how does this person truly feel about you? We also have the messages from the divine masculine cards as well. <coughs> so there's the two of wands. The two of swords. The Three of Cups, the Five of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Wands, <coughs> there's a lot of threes here. <clears throat> the king of cups and the two of cups there's also a lot of cups as well everything's falling apart this is true love I'm here for you how do I move forward <clears throat> And I need you. So I'm definitely feeling that there's some kind of third party situation going on here. It could be that this person is with someone else. It doesn't necessarily have to mean that. It could be any kind of block that's standing in the way of this person coming forward towards you and committing to you on a deeper level. Because there's the two of wands. So this is really talking about they're feeling stuck in their current circumstances, but they're also feeling bored and um, unsatisfied or dissatisfied. Um, and they're thinking about you all the time. They're thinking about how can they move forward? How can they bridge the gap to be with you? How can they release themselves from anything that's holding them back? And they're really daydreaming about you, thinking about you all the time. There may be a certain sense of um, they feel really unhappy in their current circumstances. And so when they think of you and daydream about you, it's kind of feels like a form of escape for them, like emotionally, because when they think of you, they feel very uplifted. Um, for some of you, there may be like a physical distance, like you live a long way away from each other in different states or different countries or something like that. There may be like a body of water in between you. And so they're trying to figure out how to make it work um, because there's certainly some kinds of obstacles going on here. There's the two of swords. So this person has felt confused about what to do they may think there's so many obstacles between you that they've wondered at times whether whether you know it's worth investing emotionally in your connection anymore because it's like they can't logically see um 
a way out of whatever these obstacles may be but at the same time they haven't fully lost hope they're still trying to figure things out they're trying trying to find a solution but they're not sure if their solutions are realistic and so I feel like this person's holding back emotionally and not communicating so much to you about how they feel because they're worried about getting their hopes up and it not working out or they're worried about getting your hopes up and then feeling as though it's not working out um they don't want to let you down they don't want to feel this intense disappointment if things don't work out and so they've not known what to do this can be an, an energy of them burying their head in the sand to a certain degree if they're already involved with someone else or um, whatever circumstances are making them feel stuck. Um, so there's a crossroads, there's a decision that they need to make, but it's almost as though they're delaying making that decision because they don't know if it will work out with you. They don't know if it's realistic. Maybe this is a very intense connection, like emotionally, and this person may think it's more about the emotions, it's more about this magnetic pull. But when it comes to them thinking logically, they may not feel as though it it might ground it might not ground properly. Like it may not be realistic. Um <clears throat> and so they're trying to be realistic. So it's like they have this head versus heart thing going on that's confusing them. They can't see clearly. Some of them, they don't know how to fully trust in their heart. They're wanting a reconciliation with this Three of Cups. Um, they're wanting you to come together. They, You may have spent time together and they felt that there was a lot of happy energy between you. They felt really uplifted in your company or maybe... For some of you, you know, this won't resonate for all of you, but maybe um, you met this person through work, and but they, they're they in a different, like, branch in a different country or something, or a different area. Um, and so you met this person when they came to your work residence or vice versa, or something like that. And... Um, it's just difficulty. Perhaps it's like because you work in different places, that may be the obstacle here. For some, this Three of Cups is like a third party situation in terms of they feel these deep emotions, this deep love for you. But at the same time, they may be committed to someone else. Or if it is a long distance thing, they may be thinking that it might be better. Um, to choose someone else and kind of set you free so you can be with someone else because there is that physical distance and so it's it can't fully like ground um there's the five of cups so this is a card about loss some of them they did choose someone else and they're afraid that they've lost you or they just got caught up for a long time in thinking that it wasn't fully working out with you, even though they really wanted it to. There was just too many obstacles. And so this person may have been mourning the loss of your connection for quite a long time before you actually realized that they were kind of releasing the connection in order to um, have a different opportunity with someone else or something like that. Um <clears throat> For some, this is saying that they were within a third party situation. They were with someone else or they were, you know, having some kind of lifestyle, which was perhaps not the best thing for them. Maybe drinking too much or socializing too much or something like that. Because we have the three of cups here and the five of cups normally shows the person focusing on three cups that are spilt over and then there's two cups behind them that are still upright which is the two of cups card the happy relationship so for some this can mean that they are releasing this block 
they may be releasing this other relationship or they may be releasing some kind of Peter Pan mentality. Um, and they're mourning the loss of that, but it's so that they can dedicate themselves to you um, so they can have this relationship with you. So take however that resonates. For some, they're choosing you. For others, they feel as though the obstacles are insurmountable and so they may have chosen someone else. Uh, reluctantly, though, is what I'm feeling. So the three of pentacles. So again, this could have mean, sorry, meant that you worked together or for others of you, this is saying that they want to work with you now. If they have released things or are in the process of releasing the blocks, whatever's been standing in the way, um, <clears throat> they want to be in harmony with you. They want to work on your partnership. They want to work on your relationship. There's definitely a, they feel very deeply connected to you on a spiritual level. So you may have created a spiritual awakening for them and vice versa. And they may have tried to have a relationship with someone else or they may have already been in a relationship with someone else and they realized that that spiritual aspect is totally lacking in that other relationship or other situation. And so that's why they're feeling really unsatisfied in their current circumstances. Um, and they want to move forward towards you because you bring them much deeper meaning in their life. It's like your connection is the key to their awakening. It's like um, the direct link for them to their intuition, to soul family, to the higher realms. And I feel like they're in awe of that. And they, they don't want to lose that aspect either. So some of them... They will be making you an offer with this Ace of Pentacles. Um, you may be hearing from them soon because there's also the Knight of Swords. They want to fight for your connection. They want to fight to liberate themselves from these blocks or whatever's been keeping them stuck. Three of Wands. They're, it's almost as though they're waiting for the right moment to speak their truth. Um, either to these people they're moving away from or speaking their truth to you as well, or both. Um, <clears throat> and they may be waiting to see if they hear from you. They may be waiting to see if you're still open and receptive to them because if there was some kind of third-party situation that suddenly came into your awareness then some of you may have walked away some of you may have created distance from this person and they may be waiting to see what's happening with you and how receptive you're going to be to them and so there's the king of cups and so this is just really saying that they feel this deep love for you um, they want to be there for you. They want to open their heart to you. They feel that they connect to you on all levels like mind, body, soul, emotions. They have a lot of love for you. And the Two of Cups, they're wanting that reconciliation. They're wanting that happy relationship with you. They feel like there is energetic harmony between you both. Um even if things don't appear to be that way on the surface, they feel a lot of healing within your connection. They feel, it it just feels right to them. Your connection is what I'm feeling. And they want that two of cups. So yeah, some of them really are releasing um, other people or other circumstances so that they can take up that two of cups with you. And I definitely feel like some of you will be hearing from this person because in the traditional tarot, the Two of Cups shows the man reaching out and touching the woman's cup. So expressing emotions to you. So yeah, everything's falling apart. This person may be going through um, an ending of a relationship. They may have got to this point with that Two of Swords. They may have got to this crossroads where they know that if they don't step up 
when it comes to your connection, if they don't make this decision to commit to you, then your connection is going to fall apart. You know, they know that you're not going to wait around forever for them. And for some of them, it's about their current circumstances are falling apart and that's making them feel all over the place. Um, but overall, they know it's for their highest good. So they're going through difficult times right now. This is true love. You know, they realize this. They realize that um, you bring much more fulfillment to their life because of that connection on all levels, which they don't feel with anyone else. I'm here for you. So this is what they want. Um, and I do feel with the three of wands as well, they're waiting, waiting in the wings or they're just there for you in the background. Even if you're not currently speaking, how do I move forward? So they do want to move forward. Um, <clears throat> there was confusion about, you know, which direction to go in or who to choose or um, what you know, situation to choose if it wasn't a third party in terms of another person. And they, they're deciding that with this I need you card that they need you, that I feel like this is the decision they're making, um, that they can't let you go and they don't want to let you go. And so I feel like that's their eventual decision to choose you. So let's look into the charms. I don't know why the picture's so dark. Okay, this is a positive sign, is the first one. So, yeah. Your connection's moving in a positive direction. This person may have been receiving like signs and synchronicities that have really helped them to make this decision. Storms don't last forever. And so, yeah, this person is going through rocky times right now. Or your connection may be going through difficult times, but... Um, there is like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow is what <laughs> the uh, message that came into my head like um, things will get better there will be healing the rainbows like the chakras there'll be healing within your connection so this is the moon and the constellation so to me this is really saying that there is like divine timing involved here. It is about alignment. There may be like your connections influenced by the planetary shifts and things like that. Um, this person has had to go inwards, like really deeply into their shadow side in order to shine the light on that, in order to open up into intuitively and following that inner guidance is what I'm feeling so yeah this one here the rose and the cross always reminds me of the Rumi card um, called the celestial rose of Ma and basically that's about you know in order to get to the rose in order to get to the love um, they have to go through the thorns, they have to go through the difficulties, they have to go through the lessons. And that's what the difficult circumstances are also about for this person. And they will get there though, they'll get to the rose, they'll get to the love, they'll get to be with you. So there's the dove of peace, this reminds me of the ace of cups. There's going to be a new beginning in love between you both. This person's going to open their heart to you, which is also represented by these roses here. And the crown. So this is the king energy. It's like the king of cups. Um, mastering their emotions. Um, this is victory as well, because the crown appears in the ace of swords. So the victory in 
cutting themselves free from anything that's holding them back, um, success and victory in speaking their truth, in being assertive, in taking action and creating a new beginning with you. And there's this violin as well. So some of them may be musically inclined. This may be a specific message for some of you. For others, to me, this is talking about harmony. You're coming into harmony with each other. Violins are like romantic as well. And it's pink as well, which is the heart chakra. So they feel a lot of harmony and peace within their heart. Um, and they're aligning more with that. So their heart is opening so they can express their truth to you and choose to follow their heart rather than following their fears. So I'm going to look more deeply into this person's feelings, what's going to happen with them um, between you, what actions they're going to take in a, sorry, in a Vimeo reading. So I'll leave the link to that Vimeo reading below this video in the description box. And I hope to see you there. I really hope this reading has resonated with you and um, been helpful and if it has then please like share and subscribe it really helps me to grow my channel and if you do subscribe please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading so thank you so much and I hope to see you over on Vimeo so this is set of cards number two which is the lime green stone and I can't remember what this one's called but we also have the messages from the divine masculine cards so how does this person feel about you you have the four of pentacles the knight of wands the world in reverse The Queen of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Cups. The Three of Cups. The Two of Swords. The Eight of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords in reverse. What does she think of me? I'm not sure. What's going on? Please listen. And I'm sick of the old paradigms. Okay, so how does this person feel about you? They're very worried that you've moved on from them. There's this eight of, um, where is it? Eight of cups in reverse. So some of you may have walked away from this person and in the reverse position, it's really saying to me that this person doesn't want you to walk away. They're hoping that you haven't walked away for good. I definitely feel there's third party situations here with the three of cups and where was it? The two of swords and the queen of swords and the eight of swords in reverse. So this person, they may have been holding on tightly to their comfort zone. Some of them, they may have already been with someone else. They may have been with someone who's this queen of swords in the reverse energy, someone that's trying to control them, someone that's trying to keep them stuck, trying to keep them uh, together in a relationship or something like that. This doesn't necessarily mean it's a romantic relationship. It could be a family situation where there's uh, jealous like siblings or uh, a mother that's trying to keep this their son or their daughter in their life and manipulating them and they're afraid that they're going to choose you over them kind of thing. Um, this person's wondering what you think of them and they're not sure, they're not sure what to do, what's going on. I feel like you cut contact with this person and there's please listen because they're really wanting 
and hoping that you're going to open up and be receptive to whatever they want to tell you. Um, Four of Pentacles, this is also them holding on really tightly to your connection. This could be possessiveness. Someone's possessive over them and someone may have been trying to break down your connection. Like, you know, if, if this is some kind of love triangle, like there's you and someone else that's interested in your person. Um, this other person may have tried to trick your person by saying lies about you or something like that or pretending to be, you know, their queen of cups, but it's in reverse. It's like emotional manipulation. Someone's manipulating them and they couldn't see clearly. They had a lot of confusion. They may have been, you know, a sexual relationship with this other person. It may have been like lust or attraction. Like they may have seen this other person as physically really beautiful. And then they were just like kind of hypnotized by this other person's physical beauty. But, you know, they see you as really beautiful. They see you as the true queen of cups. But in the reverse position, they know that you've, they've hurt you in the world in reverse um if you've moved away from this person it's really turned their world upside down basically this person was seduced by someone else because they were afraid of true love they didn't feel worthy of it when it comes to true love it means we have to have an open heart in order for things to work out harmoniously. This person was afraid to open their heart because when we open our heart, it means we have to be vulnerable. It also means everything that's blocking us from having an open heart comes up to the surface. And so this person was running away from that. They were running away from looking inwards because I feel like they have a poor self image. They don't feel good enough, but they want this 10 of cups with you. They want this relationship with you. There may have been a lot of obstacles in your connection. And so when this other person came along, it just happened really easily. So they may, because they were in this place of confusion for such a long time, um, they may have thought, okay, I'm supposed to be with this other person because they've entered my life and it's happened quickly. And, you know, if they are with this other person, then it is because they are meant to be with them. Even if it is just to learn lessons. Like, I feel like this person has learned a lot. That they've learned that it was their fears controlling them. Um, they're basically learning that taking the easy path is not going to be fulfilling. Um, anything that's worth having, having is worth working for, is what they're also realizing. And so they know that they ran away because of a fear of doing the healing work or just they just couldn't see clearly. They didn't have a clue what was going on, some of them, because, you know, there's this what what's going on and I'm not sure. Like some of them, they just didn't know what to do. They had a blocked heart, like a blocked intuition. They couldn't see clearly because there's this please listen. So I feel that's also like spirit and the universe, their intuition was really trying to talk to them. But because they've been feeling stuck within a poor self-image, stuck within negative thought patterns, um, they couldn't, they couldn't hear those messages from their intuition. They couldn't, they didn't know that they should follow their heart. They thought they should follow logic. And if this person came along and it all just sort of fell into place and they may have made the logical like conclusion that they should be with that person. Um, and I, but I do feel there's a manipulative energy here where someone's tried to confuse this person or seduce them. And um, they fell for it, basically. 
So they're really hoping that you'll give them a second chance. They're really hoping that it's not over between you both because the world is the final card in the major arcana. So it means the conclusion. And they feel, they feel now that the conclusion is that you and this person are meant to end up together in the happy relationship. They may have even had like hopes and dreams about having a family with you. Um, and they're still wanting that. And with the world in reverse, they're feeling as though the conclusion that was meant to happen has not happened because they didn't take that opportunity. And they're worried that they've missed out on that opportunity for good. And, you know, they may have because some of you may decide that um, you're going to love yourself more and walk away from this person. And that's completely fine, you know. You've always got to follow your own self-love and your own self-worth and know you deserve the best. So for some of you, if this person's really hurt you and really didn't consider your feelings at all, then for some of you, it may be best to move on from this person. But for a few of you, I feel like um, down the line, you are supposed to be with this person. So take whatever resonates with that. So this person... They're really worried about what you're thinking of them. They feel like you're this queen of swords in reverse. You know, you may have told this person exactly what you thought of them. You may have cut the ties with them. You may have told them to get lost and you never want to hear from them again. There's a lot of anger, which, you know, is justified. And um, so they may be worried that you're not receptive because there's the queen of cups in reverse as well. And they may have, um, they may fear that you've closed their heart to them and that you're not going to be open and nurturing. You're not communicating your truth to them anymore because you thought, what's the point? Um, it's really interesting, though, that there's the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Swords is about the mind and perception and Cups is about the heart and intuition. So head and heart. Um, I feel like the, the Queen of Swords was this third-party situation. They tried to trick this person through um, manipulation of their thoughts. They tried to make this person think certain things, think that it was appealing to be with them instead of you. Queen of Cups. But you were the one that had like the true love, the true feelings for this person. Um, so yeah eight of cups in reverse it can be that you've temporarily walked away um, like that was needed some kind of tower moment was needed in order for this person to truly wake up and realize a lot of things eight of swords in reverse it is more positive especially with this I'm sick of the old paradigms um, right next to it as well so this is saying that they're freeing themselves from illusions basically illusions what were well, what was keeping them stuck and they're freeing themselves some of you this is you freeing yourself like you may have had illusions about this person or this person just wasn't being honest or maybe you weren't communicating enough to know what was going on in this person's life and then the truth was revealed and so you're setting yourself free because you were sick of the old paradigms. You were sick of this old dynamic where this person wasn't fully committing to you. And I feel like you needed to learn this lesson as well about self-love, about having healthy boundaries. Um, and so for some of you, it's creating a major transformation in this connection. Um, for others of you, you may be finding like happiness elsewhere with someone who is truly there for you. So if you'd like to find out more, I'm going to look into this in more depth in a Vimeo reading. So I'll leave the link to that Vimeo reading below this video in the description box. I really hope that this reading has been helpful and that it's resonated with you. And if it has, then please like, share and subscribe. It really helps me to grow my channel. And if you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. So I really hope to see you on, over on Vimeo to see what's going to happen here, how this person's feeling, 
what actions they're going to take and all things like that. So thank you so much. So this is set of cards number three, which is the rainbow glass pendant. And this is the Enchanted Woods Lenormand deck. And I've also got some of the messages from the Divine Masculine cards, which are my own creation. Some people have asked me, where have I got these from? But they are my own creation. And I'm really excited because I've created some other cards as well. And they should be posted to me really soon. So how does this person feel about you? What are their true feelings? The heart. The lady. The bouquet. The house. The mice. The mountain, the sk I could never pronounce this, the ski, the sky, the ski, the gentleman, the letter, and the ring. So, from the messages from the Divine Masculine, I'm stuck. I'm letting go of the past. Let's run away together. I just want to be happy. And fuck what they think. Okay, so how does this person feel about you? They feel intense love for you. We start off with the heart. I feel the only thing that's holding this person back is they're going through some kind of manipulation or difficulty in their home life or the, in their family is what I'm feeling. Um, some of them, they may be in a other relationship, like a karmic relationship in terms of romance, a romantic relationship. Um, but for some, it is... A family situation. Um, so that's the mountain that they have to climb. That's their obstacles that are going on right now. But this person's thinking about you a lot with the heart. They feel deep love for you. It's interesting that we have the lady and the gentleman. So they see you as a match. They see you as their soulmate or their twin flame or the person that they want to be with. They want to open their heart to you. Some of them, they are opening up to you emotionally, like they're confiding in you in their difficulties. Some of them, they may not be confiding in, in you because they're kind of like in that man cave kind of energy or woman cave kind of energy um, where they're trying to figure out and problem solve and work out how to free themselves, cut the ties with this mice kind of energy. Someone's really eating away at their self-esteem or someone's manipulating or using and abusing them. Someone's really taking things from them. They may have had a lot of experiences in romantic relationships where people just took selfishly and didn't give back equally. And like I said, were manipulating them. And so I feel like that's really eating away at their self-esteem. They may have had some difficulties in when it comes to trusting in love again, they may have lost a lot of hope in love. For some of you, you've met this person because it's almost like they gave up on love. So they they surrendered. This may have been someone who was chasing after love. And because they weren't in a place of self-love, they were chasing unhealthy people. I do feel like there's a deep wound here to do with feeling abandoned and rejected in their family situation, in their childhood. So they have this tendency to, to subconsciously chase abusive and emotionally unavailable people that were um, kind of like an energetic match to how they felt with their parents. Because it's like the inner child was subconsciously trying to resolve those childhood wounds by getting getting these abusive and unavailable people to love them like they believed 
um, they could only feel good enough about themselves if someone else proved it to them, but they were subconsciously attracting people who weren't loving them because they weren't loving themselves. And, you know, whatever we, whatever energy we are in within ourselves is what we attract back to us. So I'm feeling for a lot of you that this is a true match because I feel like you've also been through very similar situations where you were kind of seeking the love, approval and validation from the wrong types of people in the past, like toxic people. And so you may have also given up on love a little bit. And for some of you, um, you met this person when you both gave up on love. And it's because you've both surrendered. You may have both gone through experiences with other people where you really learn a major lesson to do with the need to love yourself first. And so um, it's like you made the commitment to yourself and you were honest with yourself and you had a lot of healing and growth from, from that and that's why you've met this person. For some of you, everything I'm saying um, is what you're learning from this person um, about the emotional unavail unavailability. Um, and if you're basing your sense of self-worth on this other p person, like how they communicate to you or you're waiting for them to communicate and commit, then there is this need for you to love yourself know that you are the divine feminine or if you're a masculine watching it know knowing that you're the divine masculine and that you deserve the best but for for a lot of you you know you've met this person because you already went through that major lesson from past situations and you kind of just gave up on love and then you know as soon as you gave up it's like you you didn't need love anymore. You didn't need to look outside of yourself for validation. You're working on yourself. You're being by yourself. And then that's when it came in. Because you weren't desperately needing it or chasing after it. You knew your worth. You'd opened your heart to yourself. So you aligned with that inner love. And it reflected back to you on the outside. For some of you, this hasn't happened yet. And this is going to happen. And this is saying that you may be holding on to someone that is like this mice. They're just eating away at your self-esteem. They're taking from you. They're not giving back equally. Um, and it's like an obstacle. You may have been stuck in that kind of dynamic for a long time. And, and you may need to cut yourself loose from that because there is going to be this person that comes into your life when you truly do that, um, when you truly surrender. Um, but for those of you that have already met this person, I'm feeling as though, especially around Valentine's Day, because Valentine's Day is coming up, you know, even though this is a timeless reading, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm going to mention that. Um, the heart, the flowers, they're going to express their love through these gifts like the, the tokens of their affection. Because <laughs> um, they see you as really beautiful, they see you as really worthy, they want to have this house, this home with you, or you may already live together with this person, and they're grateful for that. Um, they, they, they are still a bit distracted from this drama that's going on in their family situation. But they're cutting themselves free of that. They're um, climbing that mountain. Some of you, if you're not in communication, you'll be hearing from them. There's some sort of written communication here. And they want to commit to you. They want to take your relationship to a higher level of commitment. Some of you may be receiving jewellery from this person or a letter or a card, flowers, anything heart-shaped, you know. 
this is why I'm thinking of Valentine's because all these gifts, you'll be receiving a gift from this person. So I'm stuck. Yeah, this person felt stuck in unhealthy situations or they may currently feel that if you are in a separation. But they are letting go of the past. They're healing themselves of that. Let's run away together. So yeah, this person just wants to get away from it all. Like It's become such a huge burden on them. All this drama that's going on. They feel like they re you really uplift them. They feel like they do get away from their troubles when they're with you because they just feel so happy. Yeah, I just want to be happy. I feel like your connection is helping them to free themselves. And they may have got, um, you know, the mice could have been their mind as well. Like their, their thought patterns were very negative or pessimistic and that was eating away at them. And But you make them feel happy. You make them feel uplifted and like they can climb that mountain and have victory and success. So they're cutting the ties to those negative thought patterns. Fuck what they think. Like, yeah, they may have tried to be a people pleaser. They may have tried to keep the peace or stay within these unhealthy dynamics, whatever they are. Um, because they felt ob obligated to, especially if it's family, they may have just felt like they have to just put up with it and keep the peace, but it wasn't keeping the peace for them. They were feeling a lot of emotional turmoil for a long time, so you're really helping them cut the ties. Um, And it's really uplifting them. So I'm going to look more deeply into how this person feels about you and what's going to happen between you in a Vimeo reading. So the link to that Vimeo reading is below this video in the description box. And I really hope that this reading has been helpful and it's really resonated with you. And if it has, then please like, share and subscribe. It really helps me to grow my channel. And if you do subscribe, subscribe please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading so I really hope to see you over on Vimeo thank you so much so this is set of cards number four which is the aura quartz point I absolutely love this and I can't actually remember what the name of this deck is I'm sorry to say because I don't keep the packaging that they come in. I don't keep the boxes. So some of them I know and some I don't. But also I have the messages from the Divine Masculine cards. So how does this person truly feel about you? So you have the Hermit in reverse. The Empress. The Eight of Swords in reverse. The Ace of Cups. The Seven of Cups. The Lovers. The Eight of Wands in reverse. The Three of Swords in reverse. Intense energies here. Justice in reverse. The Fool. And we have You Mean the World to Me. This karmic situation has busted my ass. You make me feel naked. I'm finishing old cycles. Let me be your king. Okay, so this person's feeling a lot of intense emotions for you. And they're seeing you as someone that's very open, very loving with the Empress card. Um, very nurturing, 
there may have been some kind of um, parent-child dynamic going on here. Like you might have wanted romance, but at the same time, you may have been giving and giving and giving to this person. And there was an imbalance of give and take. And so this person didn't know how to give back to you equally. They're like the hermit in reverse. This is someone that's been isolating themselves. Um, I feel like they have self-esteem issues. Like they don't feel good enough. They, you know, they may not feel as though they even fit in with society. Some of them that may have resulted in them wearing masks trying to fit in with everyone around them. But your connection is like calling them to be their true self. It's creating an opportunity for a deep spiritual awakening where they can liberate themselves from the karmic ties of being a false projection and not their true selves. But there's a reason why they're wearing those masks. It's because they don't feel good enough. And so... It, they feel this deep love for you because you see beyond their masks. You see the true them. And they've never really experienced that before to this degree. And so they feel very liberated in having you see the real them. But at the same time, they know that in order to be with you, they would have to be their true self. Not just with you, but in their life in general. And that's threatening to um, their comfort zone um, that's like the scariest challenge ever for this person is what I'm feeling and so I feel this person was pushing you away or running away um, this person may have fears about letting anyone get too close to them um, I feel like this person is a people pleaser because they don't love themselves and so they've been subconsciously searching for validation and approval and love outside of themselves. So they thought they had to like mould themselves completely to be what everyone else around them wanted them to be and because this person was seeking like that validation and approval and love so much... Um, I feel like they've experienced like toxic relationships where because they're not in the love vibration, they're not loving themselves, they've attracted like the reflection of that back to themselves, people who don't truly love them or people who have used and abused them and haven't shown them their worth. And so... Um, I feel like they've got used to that kind of energy and when you were giving a lot of love to them they felt like they didn't deserve that but also they may have been worried that you were just giving and giving and giving because you were wanting things back from them in return and then they they may have had fears that um, if they committed to you then you would try and take control and be a, a manipulative or only worrying about your own needs. So I feel like they've experienced that a lot and so they had fears of that. But mostly I'm feeling it's a, a fear of stepping into their light and being their true self because they just don't think they're good enough. So they may have worn masks with you. Um, they're hoping that you're still going to be open and receptive to them. Some of you may have walked away um, because there's the Eight of Swords in reverse. Some of you may have liberated yourself from seeking this person's approval. I feel like you've had the same core wounds and you've both looked outside of yourselves for love and approval. I feel like you're very spiritual. Um and you've also felt like you haven't really fit in to this world because you see things on such a deeper level, a much more deeper level than a lot of other people. And so in this connection, in this person, you felt like you met someone who you could align with, like you felt like you resonated and they resonated with you much more than you've experienced with anyone else on that deep 
level, like you feel felt understood by this person. You may have felt like attracted to this person because you saw yourself in them in a lot of ways. You may also be like the hermit energy. You may also have this tendency to kind of keep yourself to yourself, be introverted or just um, feel like it's very draining to be around a lot of people or something like that. And so when two of those kind of energies come together and yet there's still these fears of being totally open and vulnerable, then there can sometimes be like this dynamic that happens where you're kind of holding on to each other but it's not like fully grounded or it's not like a full-on proper relationship. It's more like a situation but there's blocks in the way. Um, some of you may have liberated yourself but you may have realized that you weren't being fully realistic about the potential of this relationship or something or some kind of illusion came up to the surface is what I'm feeling and you may have walked away so they're feeling that they want to liberate themselves because they they do truly love you deep down but they they feel out of their depth in this connection they struggle expressing their emotions and being that vulnerable you know they want to spread their wings like this unicorn they want to rise up whenever i see a white horse or a white unicorn to me it's the path of their highest good it's like ascension it's like alignment um, and i'm noticing the sword here like almost like the ace of swords um which is about victory and cutting themselves free from whatever's holding them back it's like victory in being their true self um and i'm just <laughs> spirit is saying something about like the aura quartz point like this person just struggles to get to the point i feel like this person just beats around the bush and may have hinted to you how they feel they may have been hot and cold, um, but they've always like kept a certain amount of, or a certain barrier up, um, a certain amount of distance between you, and they're afraid of being their true self. It's almost like they they're a caged animal. I don't mean that in a weird way, but a, a euphemism. That's the word. Um, like a caged animal, like they've been caged in for so many years that even when the cage isn't there, they still stay in the same place. They don't venture out of the, the limitations, like the area in which the cage was there. They, they stay within that same area as if the cage is still there. Um, because they, in a way, they felt safe being locked in and this person feels safe in those walls ace of cups they feel deep love for you their love for you is genuine they want a new beginning they want to express their love to you but i feel like this is the most difficult thing for them um yeah and this is about the heart awakening to me the heart is the gateway to our intuition, our soul's truth. And so that's been very overwhelming for this person because it's totally, it's totally like challenging them to be their true self. And because they've been caged up for so long, it's like the biggest challenge. So the Seven of Cups, they've been confused. They're like, do I step forward with you? Do I hold back? Does she truly love me or is she in love with some potential that she's projected onto me? Does she? It's almost like they're in disbelief and they think she can't really love the real me. It must just be some fantasy that she's in love with and I'll just end up disappointing her or him. Um, 
And, you know, there may be some element of truth in that. You may have some projections on this person. I do feel for some there is like this third party situation, but n not necessarily. For some, they may have chosen someone else because this other person didn't really challenge them in into like being their true self. They could still wear their masks with this other person. They could still kind of hide um, and secretly think about you all the time. It's like you're meeting their emotional needs, their soul needs, but this other person is like someone to feel comfortable with in terms of a living situation, someone to do things with, someone that's there perhaps. But it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a third party situation going on here. Um, the lovers, this person may literally be confused about this connection because I feel like this is someone that's very passive. You're trying to coach, you're trying to coax them out of their cage, out their shell, but they're staying within the shell or within that cage. And so some of you may have tried really, really hard. You may have even tried to seduce this person. You may have tried to be seductive to try and persuade them out of their comfort zone, persuade them to commit to you. You may have had to, you may have felt like they were rejecting you. So you tried to be more and do more or try to be more sexy or seductive or something like that. But that was kind of you wearing a mask. And so they were like, who is the true you? You might, may have felt like they they were wanting you to be like this because they're laying back passive, but they felt like you're just <laughs> going to um, completely like overwhelm them or they may have felt like, are you just going to use me for sex, you know, if you... You may have basically given a wrong impression of yourself because you, you may have been trying to mould yourself to be what you thought that would like entice this person to come forward. And so they're worried that you're going to use them and then just like move on and they're just going to be laying back. Um, so this is kind of like a dynamic of this person is very passive and you've been extremely active. And they're overwhelmed by that and they're confused about who the real you is. But you've you kind of felt like you had to be like the one that, that's taking the lead. But you may have been very forward with them and there's nothing wrong with that. But they may have thought, hmm, is she like that with everyone? Does she genuinely like me or does she just want to prove something to herself? Like, is she um, attracted to the thrill of the chase rather than actually having me? So, you know, they don't want you to capture them. <laughs> they don't want you to have what you want because then they think you might just move on after that once you've got what you wanted. So the eight of wands in reverse. So this is all about delays, obstacles, a lack of communication. Um, or it could be communication, but it's not like fully authentic. Like there may be fears on both sides of being totally upfront about how you're feeling. So you may be keeping it lighthearted. You may be keeping it flirty. Or there may be some kind of sexual dynamic where there's a fear of really expressing true emotions. So it's like maybe you both kind of settled for the sexual interactions. But there's still like a lot of awkwardness when it comes to really expressing how you feel. But it's creating blocks. Three of swords in reverse. So for some it is a third party situation where this person was overwhelmed by someone very toxic. 
who seduced them and is now controlling them and they feel stuck in that. But with the Eight of Swords, they're slowly liberating themselves and they're feeling heartbreak because they feel like they chose the wrong person or something like that. For others, it's the Three of Swords in reverse is like a fear of being heartbroken. And that's like a major block in this connection. Um, like this person fears that you're going to reject them for the reasons I've explained. And you're fearing or you're feeling that they are rejecting you. And you may be fearing that they're going to reject you if you're your true self. So you're kind of wearing masks with this person as well. And the alien, like feeling alienated, feeling like you don't fit in with this world. And just a long standing feeling of rejection because of that. I feel like you've both gone through that and it's highly affecting um, this person and maybe even your self-esteem. Justice in reverse. So you feel like there's an injustice here. You feel like you've put in a lot of work and this person isn't giving back to you or this person's still cautious of you and you're thinking, why? You feel as though you've proved yourself to this person time and time again. Um... They're afraid that, again, there's going to be an injustice and you're just going to use them and then move on. There may be an injustice where you feel like this person chose someone else. But the fall. This is brand new beginning within your connection. Taking a leap of faith. Like, someone needs to make the first move when it comes to being your true self, expressing your true self and saying fuck it to the fears, basically. Fears of rejection and abandonment. Otherwise, this connection is just going to keep going in the same circles is what I'm feeling. You mean the world to me. So I do truly love you. This karmic situation is busting my ass. To me, the karmic situation is that you both fear rejection and so it's manifesting as masks and indirect communication, misunderstandings, just intense fear. And it's really wearing this person out because you do mean the world to them, but they fear, even though you may be thinking, how can they even think this? They fear that it's unrequited love. They fear that you don't truly love them and that they love you more than what you love them. So they're afraid of looking like a fool. They may feel like they're being foolish. Um, they don't want to make a fool out of themselves. Because, yeah, you make me feel naked. They're afraid of being open and vulnerable with you because you do mean the world to them. They love you very deeply. But they see you as someone that's more much more confident, you could have anyone. So they, they're kind of thinking, well, why would she want me? And they don't want to like open their heart and suddenly like, or finally believe in this connection and come towards you. And then the rug is pulled from out beneath, beneath their feet. When you turn around, almost like this Wonder Woman character, um, and in the reverse position and that you create some kind of injustice. They see you as a very powerful person. They may feel as though they're not powerful at all. And there's some level of intimidation here. I'm finishing old cycles. Let me be your king. So they want to be your king. They dream about being strong, confident, um, action-oriented. Finishing old cycles. So the karma, it needs to come to an end. There needs to be an ending of looking to each other for a sense of validation and worth. There needs to be this know, inner knowing of, of the self-worth. So I'm going to look much more deeply into this person's energies, what's going to happen between you, what actions they're going to take and what's going to happen 
in a Vimeo reading. So I'll leave the link to that Vimeo reading below this video in the description box. And I really hope that this message has really resonated with you. And if it has, then please like, share and subscribe. It really helps me to grow my channel. And if you do subscribe, please tap the bell icon and that will notify you every time I release a new reading. So I really hope to see you over on Vimeo. Thank you so much.